Lesson 4.2, count and write to 10. In this lesson, we're going to count to 10 and we're going to write the number 10 and the word 10 right and left handed. Here we have the number 10 and the word 10, T-E-N. And we can count the counters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 counters. We have 10 counters in one row going across. And we can use our hands to show 10 as 5 and 5. We can trace 10 with our right finger. We start at the blue line on the top here and we go all the way straight down to the bottom line. And for the zero, we start at the top and we push away from our hand, then pull towards our hand back up to the top. That's 10. We can trace it with our left finger for the left-handed writers. We start at the top here for the one and we bring it straight down to the bottom line. And for the zero, we push away from our hand and then pull towards our hand back up to the top. 10. We can write the number 10 with our right hand like this. We're going to make a 1 and then a 0 right next to each other. And for the 1, we start here and we go straight down to this line. And for the 0, we start at the top. We push away and come around and back up again. Let's try it again. We start here. We go straight down. For the zero, we start here. We push around and then back up again. That's the number 10. And we can write the word 10. We can start here and notice that we're below this blue line. We're below the top line, but we're above the dashed line. So we're going to start here and we're going to go straight down. Then we're going to go on this side and pull the pen towards us to cross the T. We're going to make an E by coming towards us, going up and around. We're going to make the N by starting here on the dashed line, going down and then bouncing around back down to the bottom. 10. We can write it with our left hand like this. We're going to make a one and then a zero. So we start here and we make the one by going from the top line to the bottom line straight down. And we make our zero by pushing away and coming around. So we're going to start at the top. We're going to push away and come around and back up again. Let's try it again. We're going to come straight down for the one and for the zero, we're going to start up here. We're going to push away, come around, and back up again. That's the number 10. For the word 10, we start here for the T. We come straight down, and we go on this side and pull the pen or pencil towards our hand. We make the E. We start here, and we push away, and then go up and around. We make the N. We start at the dashed line and we come down and bounce around back down to the line again. 10. T-E-N. Here we have a very long row of cars and we have numbers underneath them to count the cars. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight, nine, ten cars. Here we have a lot of flowers. We need to count them and write the number. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more makes ten. We can write the number ten. We make a one, we make a zero right next to it. 10, 10 flowers. Here we have some blue and yellow fish. We need to count them and write the number. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can write the number ten. We make a one and we make a zero right next to it. Ten. Ten fish. We need to count the objects in these sets and write the number. Here we have a 10 frame. Do you know how many counters are in that 10 frame? Do you remember how we can just look at the 10 frame without counting to know how many? The 10 frame has one missing. That means it has one less than 10, one fewer than 10. Do you know what number is one fewer than 10? If you said nine, you're right. We have five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can write the number nine. Here we have some crabs. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are 10. We can write the 10. It's a one and a zero right next to each other. Here we have some turtles. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight turtles. We can write the number eight. Nine counters in the 10 frame, 10 crabs and eight turtles. So as you count objects to 10, remember that we can show 10 with our two hands as a five and a five. Our next lesson, 4.3, we're gonna show ways to make 10. And I hope you have a really wonderful day, and I hope you join me for the next lesson. Bye.